Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach. I help you choose growth and I help you heal your inner roots. I have an intuitive message for you today about your spiritual path. This looks inside at your inner world and outside at the world outside of you. Let's go ahead and get started. My guides are asking left to right. We've, I'm sorry, yeah, left to right. We're just, we're opposite. So death, the moon on the inside, <laughs> ten of swords on the inside, so it looks like darker cards, and then daughter of arrows on the outside. Okay, where do we start? Starting on the outside. Okay. <laughs> You can see in your outer world, Sagittarius, a new door that has appeared for you to walk through. And you're looking at it. <laughs> you can see it there. You feel it there. There's part of you that's not quite ready to go there. You're aware of that door. You see the sloth is looking, but the sloth is only looking with the head. The rest of the body hasn't turned. So I think it was a... Um, it was an ex once who taught me when you're fighting someone, and I've never really fought someone in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but when you're fighting someone, always look at their hips because their hips tell you where they're gonna go. Well, if you look at this animal, his whole body is going opposite of where his head's going. So he's looking, you are aware of this door, you're aware of this portal, but with this sloth card, we have a cautiousness or a reluctance to really walk through it. You know that this portal is going to take you into new strange places, but you also know that this portal is very healing and very life affirming and very transforming. So you have all of that in your awareness. You know this in your head. The rest of your body, the rest of yourself isn't quite turned, isn't quite in agreement yet. The good thing is that your head's leading. So you have a clear head about this. What's missing is a more emotional attachment to this portal, to this door. This is, it's death's door, but it's not the way that I'm saying it. You know, we think of, okay, she's, or he's at death's door, meaning we're ready to transition. It's not as if you're dying, but you are right at the door of a new beginning. Literally, I mean, you are kind of at death's door. It's a different meaning though. I'm not saying that your health is off but you're at this moment where you're ready to transition. But we're waiting for the heart to embrace it. We're waiting for the rest of your body to be very comfortable with it. And we're waiting for the rest of you to really be joyfully anticipating it. There's something happy about these plants growing out of the eye sockets. I believe they're amaranth plants, which I'm not up on the symbolism for amaranth at the moment but I know that it's a nourishing grain that has a lot of protein, it's very good for you. So there's, there's, a, um, there's substance and there's happiness in this transitional moment, but there needs to be more emotional involvement with it, emotional invitation, okay? The head knows that this is where we're going, but the body, it's not quite convinced yet. It's still a little cautious or a little scared, like we're not sure what to expect. But if you can tell your body and yourself that this is going to feel joyful, this is going to feel great, this is gonna be a good experience walking through this door, I feel your body's gonna to wanna to shift. All right, let's go inside. Now, We have the Ten of Swords and we have the Moon. <laughs> so, you know, when I first got this deck, I was horrified by this card because I thought, wow, you know, this is the darkest deck I've ever used. But, you know, when I got to know this card a little bit more, this is a possum and the possum is playing dead. Okay, now what do we just have? We had the Death card. So you're trying to convince yourself that you're ready for this death, but really you're just playing dead. You're not 
really convincing yourself. You're not really convincing the universe. You're saying, yeah, yeah, I'm ready for dead, but you're really just playing dead. And part of the reason for that, we've got the moon. Again, that emotional commitment. The moon is not sure of where this door is going to lead. And by the moon, I mean you. You know, Emotionally, you don't know where this door is going to take you. And the moon just is confusing because you can't see. There's a shadow or there's a veil over the other side of the door. You can't tell if it's dark or light over there. You really can't tell if it's going to be good or bad. And you also feel like there's a, there's a loss of light. You see how just visually dark and black these cards are? You're feeling like you don't have, you don't have your, your lantern. I'm thinking of the hermit. You don't have that light out in front of you that you're following. You're on the bridge of this dark abyss and you're like, what the heck is going to be down there? Okay, but all of this is just illusion. Illusion, illusion, illusion. Sagittarius, because the moon, all these shadows and things not seeming like they, what they are, they're not real. This possum playing dead isn't really dead. So this is also a message to you that as you move through what seems to be a shadow or it mean, seems to be a very dark and unknown place, you're not going to die. You're not, nothing bad is going to happen to you. Possums play dead to escape harm, right? So this possum playing dead is a kind of a playing, playful double meaning for you. On one hand, we had, okay, you're, you're not really dead. You think you're ready for this door. You think you're ready for this death's door, but you, you're really not. But it's also saying to you that you're going to be protected from harm, that nothing bad is going to happen to you through this door that it's actually going to be very transformative. And the reason why you're not allowed to see it is because you would form conclusions based on who you are now. And that would be presetting your future and that doesn't allow you to transform. So I've got a metaphor in my head. Let's see if it makes sense. Before Google, if, if we can imagine a time and before the internet, when you wanted to go to a new place, you either got the address from the phone book or you talked to someone and they told you the address. But you couldn't, because the internet didn't exist, you couldn't go online and Google this address and then see photos of where you were going. And so there was a the joy in discovery. You, were, you would go to the place and you'd be like, oh wow, this is interesting, I've never seen this before. Because you didn't know what to expect. And just little things, you know, I was thinking about this the other day, like going to a restaurant, you can't even be surprised by what a restaurant's like because you go online and you see the inside, you see the outside, you see the plates, you see everything. There's no spontaneity and surprise and delight because everything is already pre-known. And so when you get these pre-knowings, part of your brain in the present starts to decide how you're going to be and how you're going to respond to these things. So, you know, a silly, silly thing. If I look at the restaurant online and I see, oh, okay, this looks fancy. I might choose to wear a certain thing or to look a certain way. And that's actually going to influence how I'm interacting in that space. I might not be as natural and at ease if I had no idea what to expect and I <laughs> show up in, in whatever and just say, well, you know what, this is me. I'm going to experience this the way I want. So part of the reason for this, all of these shadows right now is to allow that delicious spontaneity of your soul to come out and play in this time that seems so scary because you can't see what's next. It's not as scary as you think, Sagittarius. Not knowing is not as scary as you think because it actually allows you to transform more deeply. It allows more delight. It allows more surprise. And that's the kind of thing that we would like your the rest of you to be anticipating. That, okay, we don't know what it is, but we know it's going to be delightful. We know it's going to be beneficial and healing. We know it's going to be fun, you know? 
playing. We're just playing dead. We're not actually dying. We're just playing dead. So this is really <laughs> quite positive reading. Even though these cards are so dark, Sagittarius. This light kind of coming behind there. <laughs> the only, only light in these cards. My guides are saying one more, so let's get one more piece of advice for you. Maybe. <laughs> I need another hand. I need a third hand. Okay, the lovers. Divine protection, divine synthesis, and again, divine transformation, bringing two different sides together, the light and the dark, the masculine and the feminine. This is all planned, and it's all happening because of love. You're not being asked to transform out of fear. You're being asked to transform out of love. So this is what you can trust, is that you are loved, you are guided. This is happening on purpose for a reason. And the outcome, the reason, and the intent is all just love. Okay. All right, Sag. Thanks so much for sharing your time with me. That was really a fun reading. If you would like to reach out or connect for an individual personal reading, there is information below in the description on how to do that. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.